Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode five of Let's Try the Lord of the Rings, the Third Age, the PS2. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out some more awesome Lord of the Rings stuff with me. As you know, we can't skip these intro bits here. So if y'all just bear with me. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, having a bit of a rough day myself, but hopefully things are turning around. So. All right. Let's get into it. Episode 4 at the Light Altar. Huh. In a region. We found some sort of elvish ruin. Okay. I think we have to, actually have to come down this way. Got the choppy bits back again. Come in here. Let's see. Picked up our first elf stone last episode. That was pretty cool. Picked that up right here. Let's roll. The only way we can go is down here. It's a campsite. So tell us, Ranger, what happened back there in the pass? It was a bewitched fight, voices echoing down from the mountains. Then lightning struck all around us. The dwarf fought like one possessed, but a landslide carried him away. Before he fell, he gave me a map, presented to him by Elrond of Rivendell as a gift of friendship. But I could not withstand the dark powers that ruled the mountain that night. While I lay there burning, that Mordor orc ripped the map away and fled down the mountain. That map revealed the location of the secret entrance to a forgotten realm. Moria. Yes. Oh. The greatest city of the dwarves, whose location was lost during the Great Wars, and whose halls are rumored to still be stalked by a terrible monster. And what of the dwarf? If that map leads us to Moria's hidden gate, I expect we shall find him nearby. It would take more than a few goblins to stop that dwarf. <laughs> cool. And get a dwarf companion. Probably. Quest journal updated. Received an epic scene. Moria's past. To travel to the elves, Barathor must first enter Moria. I will lay open to you Moria's secrets, and they are many. Khazadum, the greatest of dwarven halls, <coughs> lies along an old elven road that carried trade between Holin and Moria. At the walls of Moria, invisible dwarf doors bar western entry. Even their own creators cannot find them if their secret is forgotten. But should the gates be mastered, the mazes of halls and tunnels within the mountain are vast. And the four-day journey to the other gate will not be an easy one, should foul creatures still prowl those halls. If I were you, I would track our party and follow behind, should we master the gates of Moria. Huh. Right. 
Yeah, so we should check the quest journal. 58% through region. Um, reclaim Elrond's map. Find a healing altar that has been defiled by the forces of shadow. Kill any orcs and recapture Elrond's map to Moria. And collect elven artifacts and defend elf healing altars. Alright, see what's in the chest. Bag of old Tobe. We are playing on hard difficulty again now. Checking this out. Trying this for a while, maybe. Oh. Um. Learning new skills. Successfully using a skill in battle earns skill points that are automatically applied to learning the next skill in the same category. Use the skill menu to select the skill in each category that you'd like to learn next. We know about that. Huh. Back here. Whoa. Slime of Orthanc. Battered Steel Helm for Barathor. Control Pit Mud. Helm None Equipped. A helm for a suit of travel worn Gondorian armor. Armor 11, one star. Nothing too special about it, but takes our armor to 53. And actually, Idriel. Barathor's armor is 53. Hers is 63. Elagos 26. Oh, we never did check out Elagos's. Um, He's very weak to Piers. He's weak against Slash, but he's stout against Air, Earth, and Blunt. Weak against Shadow. Didn't she get some kind of crazy... Yeah, that gold-plated... Fald. Armor 34. I'm surprised her armor is only 63. She really doesn't have much else besides her Churkin. And a pendant. Hmm. Alright, so. Some cool loot found. Now I'm wearing a sweet helmet. In we go. Hmm. Wait. Something weird about this tree, no? No. Huh. If that's the way we came in, right? Wait. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> All right. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot that's going to be easy to miss. Um, but there might be as we continue on and things get a little more intricate. file Okay, 
think we just made a circle around. Alright. Let's head up this way, whatever this is. Okay. Instant battle. This should be cool. Orc Sword Warriors. Hmm. I guess a chance to uh, grind some SP. Oh. And I don't think he gains anything by examining. Would be a complete waste to do. use 50 uh, AP. I want to learn counter attack. Get that leadership SP. Have to grind a little bit. Atrial. Yeah, I'm going a little wild here. A Barathor can just work bane it. 663 on a crit. Crazy. <laughs> Very cool. So the XP is not coming as freely now. Barathor gets Gondorian Steel Greaves and King's Foil. One of two light altars cleared of enemies. Wait, did we clear that other light altar of enemies? Shin protection. Armor 2. Travel worn steel riding greaves. Minus 1 to speed. They're not even worth wearing. I'd rather have the 1 speed. But shouldn't this be 2 out of 2? Defy shadow file. Found artifact 2 of 4. Cracked Elf Stone of Health Enhancement. Health Enhancement. Okay, that will go to Idriel, her second Elf Stone. HP goes to 491, so about 50 HP. Nice. We could even give it to Barathor. Like, did we not get in a in a proper fight? Let's see what the quest thing says. Journey into three different ruins and defend any elves who seek respite there. Hmm. Let me make sure there's nothing else up here. Hidden. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess. I should turn back now if there's any doubt. I wish we could look at a map of the areas. Huh. Oh, I'm tempted to head back.
I'm gonna head back, guys. <laughs> Please forgive me. I know not what I do. Old school Brian Adams. Act like you know. <laughs> All right. Look good, it's right here, so. Do we have to fight this eyeball fight, maybe? That can't be it, but. We can try it. Just, uh. goes again, do it again, do it again. Sweet SP, baby. Oh, the double critical, 642, wow, and that gauge is just about filled. Nice, it drew levels up. And bark. No, of course not, that was not the quest. If we come up here, See, the light is still here. And it makes me wonder. This is a light altar, is it not? There's nothing anywhere to battle. So if we come down here, which... Huh. Alright, well, let's continue then. Just want to make sure there's no other way around here. No. Alright. We could get someone else to lead the party. Get some more XP themselves instead of giving Barathor all of the XP. <laughs> cool. She's a little more graceful with the controls, it seems, actually. Save point. Episode five, halfway to ten. Okay, I didn't see where that what that said it was, but 
Third Age Dunedain Brooch of Arnor for Elagost. Party Elf Medicine. Level up Idril. Kind of tempted to do that. Keep her strength up a little bit. Brooch, armor 19, an heirloom showing the Dunedain's bond to elven powers. Whoa, look at that. Plus two strength, two speed, one dex, one con, one spirit. Wow. And that goes under brooches. Brooch, nasty. All right. Very good. Um, Eve of Old Toby. Libus. Just a little outpost. I guess you can pretty much make any character the main character. I don't know. Well, no, the main character is pretty much Barathor, but. Oh, Palantir. This is another light altar. Oh. Fighting Orc Shadow Chieftain, Armored Orc Sword Veteran, Orc Sword Warrior. Okay. Let's do an aim shot on the Orc Shadow Chieftain. I know we could do Volley of Arrows. Let's see. That did not do a ton of damage, okay. Perfect mode. I kinda wanna save that, but Orc Bane. Ooh, 280. He's got pretty good defense. Israel. Change weapon. What does she change to? Also a bow? Blood Water Fury. Yeah. 381 and taken down. To dust. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, dang. They get in all kinds of turns in a row here. Barathor. Um. Another Orc Bane on the Armored Orc Sword Veteran. 292. Aimed shot. to save our awesome uh, perfect mode or whatever. Um, yeah, do a sword craft. Ooh, learn wounding strike. Nice. Well done, Idriol. Idriol. All right. Oh, Idriel gets a third age elven gold plated chest plate to match the skirt. Wow. Hjorn Pollen. Or Hjorn. Hjorn, I think that's pronounced. 
Paul in, leave of old Toby, Toby and a King's Foil. And all light altars cleared of enemies. Quest completed, Idriel gains 1160 XP. Beautiful. Wow, so she's going to have a... 71! Gold-plated chest armor designed by Lothlorian crafters. Two and a half stars, plus one strength. Vulnerable to blood, but resistant to pierce. Takes her armor to 120. And wait a minute, HP goes up. Two. <laughs> I guess that's due to the plus one strength, so... Check her out. Gold-plated sun. Love it. All right, so skills she learned: wounding strike, elven rage, melee attack that allows Idril to Idril to strike twice, stunning strike, a melee attack that delays an enemy's next attack or lowers the strength of an enemy. She's level 9. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, that takes 30. These take 15. So it might be wise to take this one weakening slash for 15 rather than... Yeah, we're going to want to lower the strength. How's everyone else doing? Arrow volley. Oh, we have to use that one more time to get access to these next ones. Helmet evade. Oh, right. Oh, right. We did pick this one. Train action points. Restore a great amount of health. Okay. Elegance blinding shot. Piercing bite. A ranged attack that lowers the melee damage caused by the target. Well, that's really good. So actually, he's still learning counterattack. Five more of these attacks to learn it. This lowers the armor value. We'll probably learn that next. Company Valor, one more company might, and we'll learn Valor, which raises groups, dexterity, constitution, and speed, upping accuracy, HPs, and melee defense. Pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Um, passive skills, Citadel. Wait, he wasn't learning that this whole time? Oh, yeah, he was. Okay. I was like, what? Okay, so what? I actually wanted to change. Rather than lowering the strength, because if we go to Elagost, piercing bite for his ranger craft is going to lower the melee damage. He just has to use aim shot one more time. So she should actually complement that more and learn stunning strike. I don't know, we have all these. As good as stunning strike is, we have a lot of like, attacking twice would be nice just for our pure damage attack. So we'll get Elven Rage. I think. I don't know, this is such a tough one.
melee attack that also drains action points over time. Melee attack that always hits but does less damage. Melee attack that allows Idril to strike three times. Let's get Stunning Strike, I guess. That'll be good to have. And uh, let's use some items here. Let's see, he could use some HP, so a little King's Foil. She could use some HP, use a little King's Foil. Actually, should we use King's Foil Leaves? We only have one of those. Leaves of Old Toby, Bag of Old Toby. You can have a little Lembus. And that should get us through the next fight at least. Oh, we get a lovely elf stone, artifactory of four. Cracked elf stone of water protection. Huh. Foil leaves. Um, sixty six percent complete. What was it I wanted to do? Gear picked up. Oh yeah, the Elf Stone of Water Protection. Plus one Dex and resistant to water. Let's look at stats. She's stout versus water. Very stout versus fire. Weak against blood. Our boy Barathor is very stout against air. Normal against water. Air, Earth, Water. Let's give it to Elagost. Wait. I think Barathor should probably grab one. Grab a Elf Stone. Gets that one dexterity too. All right, cool. And that gives him stout against water. Cool. <clears throat> Just in case he has to take some water damage from like a taunt, you know. I figure it's best that he has it. Okay, so we push on. Oh no. Where are we going? I'm actually not returning. Save could be my worst move ever. Hmm. Let's work Shadow Chieftain. Armored Orc Sooner. Okay. Um, aim shot. <sighs> Learn piercing might. Okay, this is not good. Oh, we can do a volley attack. Yeah, I think we're going to do our perfect mode, actually. Or should we save that still? <laughs> Do a loud water, water fury. Made. 
298. Two. Ooh, 187. Dang, son. Okay. And depending on what we use, it changes how we roll in the uh, in the mix here. Foes melee damage. One fifty seven. Continues to damage a foe. Let's hopefully take that one out. Nice. Don't do murder of crows again, though. Okay, orc bash. Nice. She's working on that dodge anyway. Okay, now we pretty much have a fine go of it here. Challenging though. Um, another orc bane. Critical, critical, double critical. Oh no. Okay, not too bad. And then Idril. Let's get a gift of Elrond in on uh, Arjuna Zane Ranger. Marathor can just attack. Whew. <clears throat> a bit of a toughie. Eh? We might have to run back to the save point though. Nice level up, Marathor. Level up for Elagost. Perfect. Huorn Pollen. We didn't check what that did. Leaves of Old Toby and drops of Valinor. Perfect. Party elf medicine. Control pit mod. Is this the beginning? Is that where we started the game from? Remember that, guys? It is. I'm pretty sure it is. We started on the other side of this uh, broken bridge here. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I'm afraid of getting into another battle. Okay, wait, actually. I want to just protect her right now. Greater health and it drought file. And how about... Or some health and action points. Leaf of old Toby. Huron Pollen puts a single enemy to sleep. Let's use a leaf of old Toby. Okay, that should work. Just in case we're getting into a battle here. Four points to spend, okay. Uh, 
constitution, speed, strength, strength. Two for Elagost, um, speed, and spirit. Very good. Okay, we're gonna hit back. Another fight is brewing. Another fight is brewing. No. Oh no. Okay, this one's not as hard. Two armored orc sword veterans and an orc lesser captain. Um, which is an orc bane on homie here. Critical hit 487. Did not kill him though. Um. be a cheap way to take him out. Did not do what I wanted to do. And now they're all raged up. That was bad. That was like Legolas not taking out the one with the bomb in the movie. I hate to use my use perfect mode here, but up. Okay, not too bad. Nice dodge. Okay, now let's start popping them off here. Gift of Elrond on uh, Arduna Dine. Arduna Dine, friend. Arduna Dine, right? Nice. Marathor. Little Orc Bane. Pain for the Orc Bane. Learn counter attack. Lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. Elagost. Piercing bite right there. And she can just take that one down. No questions asked. Ouch. Awarded for that, okay. Good to know. Uh, another orc bane, honestly. Just rearranging here. IRL, okay. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Fun stuff. Getting nice and challenging and fun. Uh, so XP is slowing down as we saw. Whoa, Gorgoroth Ash, Leaf of Old Toby, and Leaves of Old Toby. Awesome. And this game does not have a problem with spinning you around like after a battle, which is a good thing. Some games back in the day that could be a, an issue with. You'd get out of a battle and you weren't you weren't sure if you were coming or going. <laughs> like which direction to go. Not a not the case here. Okay, we're heading way back. I know. I kind of I'm not way back actually. Forgot this 
It's right here. Yeah, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. Sorry I said a little stuffy here at the end, but appreciate your viewership. Hope you enjoyed and are enjoying the series. If you are, if you did, or if you are, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you care about this particular game and such and such. You could also leave a comment. I read and respond to all of them. Uh, you can subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to not miss any uploads. That said, guys, those are suggestions, not commands. So whatever you choose to do or not do is all good. And yeah, we'll pick this up next time, guys. I feel like it's getting super cool already. Has a sort of like not open world feel, but a sort of open questing feel. And I can't wait to check out some more of these regions. This game, I don't know if I'd call it huge, but it is quite nice. There's like a bunch more still locked. Oh yeah. It's a chunky one, especially considering we're only 66% complete. So hope you'll join me next time, guys. Do come back. More fun to be had. Until then, be well, live well, stay well. And much love, peace, and joy. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.